A laser that doesn't cut or engrave wood? What? This is it. This is the Atom Stack M4 Fiber Laser. I've been waiting to get my hands on this thing for quite a while. Now, this laser isn't for everyone, and we'll go over some reasons why it's not. But first, what we're gonna do is put this thing together, and as always, I'm not gonna make you watch. So the first thing I wanna do is figure out what this can engrave on and what it can't. It's supposed to be a great thing for all metals, so let's check that theory out. So next I want to use these little metal business cards and they're fairly thin you'll see right here and I want to just see how it looks when you do something on here so let's check that out. So messing around with the settings on this, uh, it, it came out really nice on here. Uh, although I was having trouble because it wouldn't stop lazing. It just kept going over and over and over the thing. Um, but I think it came out good and I fixed that problem. I just reset the program. I'm kind of curious of how this laser works on painted surfaces. So I actually have a tile over here that I painted black and I want to put a small little image on it and see how it comes out. Now when I did this on the other laser it took about five or six hours. So this one did not come out that great. Um, here's the original that I did with another laser. Uh, I inverted the image and it came out great. I couldn't get it to invert on the program that they have, but it didn't come out that great, but it does, it does cut into the paint. I could have had it set a little bit stronger there. So I've been wanting to try something because I want to make some stuff that I can give away for Christmas as stocking stuffers. And one of those things is I want to take a flask and I want to put my children's names on it and the flag. Not trying to make them alcoholics, it's just a fun little gift that they can keep somewhere. Came out pretty good. So the back part of it turned out pretty good on the back here where I redid it. Um, but you'll notice there's some discoloration in there and that's because the, the flask kind of is concave right here. And it's convex on the other side and it really didn't, you can see the outside lines didn't really cut. I'm not sure that this laser is good for cutting stuff that's not flat. So next what I want to do is see how it works on high speed steel and I want to show you a nifty little option that this thing has. You can't really feel it in there but you can see it pretty good. They have a pretty cool little function that we're going to use here and it's called the repeat. 
and there's a little button on the side of the machine that says repeat work. And it's that simple to repeat what you're doing. So I ran out and I got a piece of copper out of my goat's water pen. Why do we put it in there? It helps to keep the algae away and it gives them a little bit of copper in their diet. So I want to see if this laser will engrave on the copper without jacking it up too much. So. There you go, it engraved just fine on there. Now it says moon pie. I'm gonna go throw this back in the water and I'll be back. So I've had an issue with this hammer for a long time. Everyone seems to think it's theirs. Well, I'm gonna do something to show them that it's mine. Yeah, that came out pretty darn good. Now they'll know whose hammer it is. It's in there pretty good. So there it is. I've got the hammer marked and now everyone will know that this is Ken's damn hammer. So a big thing I like to make are slate coasters and you could put people's photos on there. They'll give you a family member or they just want a logo put on there. And this machine I think will do a very good job at that. So let's check it out. All right, so that took about seven minutes to do. And wow, look at that. That is actually really good. A really quick generic file. Took about a minute and a half. So what I've learned from this so far is that the anodized aluminum engraves a lot differently on different colors. It didn't do very well on the green, but it did all right on the uh, the pink purplish color there. Something else I've been wanting to do is do quick repeatable engravings on these black dog tags with my name and logo on it to put in with my projects. So there you go, little moon pie creation dog tags. I can actually send these out to people. I can put them in with my projects and all that stuff. And it's very repeatable and it only took about a minute and 20, 22 seconds. So along with dog tags, you can do a tag for a dog's collar. So I'm gonna do something on that and that's that stainless steel right there. Now it has Zeke's name on it. So that took a minute and 22 seconds and now Zeke has a new little dog tag. He'll enjoy that. So they supplied this right here and this is a portable hood because you can take this and it's portable. Still have to have the power source connected up. But let's see how hard or easy it is to etch something while holding it up to it. To make this portable, all you do is take out the screw that holds it to the base and hold it and bring it up and it is now portable. So I'm going to be honest with you, I looked around my shop and I couldn't find anything that I wanted to mess up by trying to engrave uh, on the side up here portably. But here's how you're going to do it. You're going to take it, you're going to put this thing on and then you're going to bring it over and Let's see if I can keep it steady. That took about uh, 30 seconds. There it is. I know it's a little bit hard to see. You can see there's a little bit of waviness over here. It started getting a little bit heavy, but it didn't do too bad and it etched it all right. I held it for about 30 seconds up there. All right, it's time to talk about everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. As always, I want to start with the bad and the ugly and then get to the good because I always like leaving it on a good note. So the bad and the ugly, portability. Portability 
Yes, it is portable. Is it practical? Absolutely not. You saw in my footage, it is very shaky to do. It's almost impossible to hold steady. So when you have the cone on it, it doesn't focus for some reason. The two dots are very far apart, and I think that that could have detrimental effects on your final image. The CCAD program that you use with this laser is very clunky and is very hard to figure out. I couldn't find any manuals on using it on the internet or on their website at all. Once I messed around with it a little bit, it did get easier to use and I did figure out the settings a little bit better. But I would love to see them incorporate light burn into using this and it would be a lot better. Curved surfaces didn't really engrave very well, you saw on the outside here. Um, so that was also something that I, I'm not really sure how they would fix that. The protective eyewear that they sent was scratched up and looked like it was used, but it was usable. So now for my favorite part, the good thing. So one of the big things that I'd like to start doing with this is engraving coasters. And with that repeat function, I think it'll do very well uh, to produce these things out extremely fast. You saw earlier the differences between the two with the laser. It just blasted it away, and I may have had the laser set too high for this slate. But this is just so crisp and clean, I think I'm going to be using this for my, my coasters. So when you get a new laser, you always have to play around with the settings. With this, you have to only adjust the speed. I didn't see any reason to take it off of 100%. This thing does outstanding laser cutting. It has very crisp lines and fills in very uniformly. Repeatability. I love that little button on the side. I can crank through a bunch of coasters or cards or lazing onto whatever I want very fast. They give you this little L bracket so you can set it up and you can do repeatable cuts very quickly. Putting this thing together was all about two screws and putting it onto the tower base. So it's very fast to assemble. Is this a beginner machine? Absolutely not. So my final assessment of this machine, it's pretty cool and it's a pretty neat little machine to have, but I don't believe it's for hobby user. This would be a machine for more of the person that is engraving jewelry, metal, and things like that. It allows for great repeatability and it could help people batch out things like coasters, uh, jewelry, pendants, things like that. All right, I appreciate you stopping by. If you could hit that thumbs up button, share the video if you would. And if you think I deserve it, hit that subscribe button. If not, I'm just thankful that you watched my video. And until next video, stay cool. And other items or wants to do repeatability. Repeatability. Pop, pop.